On our way to Maritime, shout out Noah for this trip. Um, Hi, shout out. Is Who's that? Hate your shirt. National <laughs> Advice, National, National Ocean, Ocean Administration, Ocean. Administration Ocean. Authority. Is it a video? Wait, yeah. Last, like, vlogging. They keep Cass. vlogging for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jake Paul. Good morning, Glow. Hi, Jake Paul. It's Tessa Grubb. It's a competition. No, he says, no, he says, Bobby. I got him with the hook. Let me educate you. But there ain't talking books. Panera is your phone. Oh, I'm not your phone. I'm not your phone. Is that your voice? Yeah, I smell good. Wait, hey, is that your voice? Come on, start it. Bobby, quick and look. I guarantee it's not. Step so close to your face. Is this still taking a video? Yeah, bring up a civic. Okay, who's, who's that How do you feel? For like prize time? Um, it's for it's my cast. cast. Who do you think I am? Oh, oh wow, you're cool. How do you feel on this boat? Oh, pretty cold. I don't know why. You're doing this. Two big boys? Yeah. Yeah. Everything. So, folks, if we see in this glass box, that's where our bridge tender is. He opens up the bridge. Oh, I see. I see a hand. Oh, my God, we got it. We're about to have um, quite a long chance to so actually good. look around us and take more of a specific observing look at what we can see. If you're behind me and uh, I can't see you, you probably can't see what I'm looking at either, so go ahead and just spread, kind of scrunch in, you'll keep yourselves warm. So, first thing we're going to do today out here um, has to do with coastal resilience. So does anybody want to remind me what that means from ability to bounce back? Bounce back from what in this context? Extreme weather, yeah, and we'll also we'll work in that kind of solution today. Yeah. Some methods you've looked at in your session on Monday. Yes. Rip wrap. Rip wrap uh, and sea walls. And was there another one? Marsh. 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 And so now if we look around us, do we see any of those things? Rip wrap and marsh. marsh. All of them. Let's point to the marsh. Rip is on the rip. So our objective today for the very first part of our cruise is to sort of map and observe the different resilience methods that we see out here in this real life situation. So, what are we looking at here? The sound. The map, oh, okay. yeah, the sound. So Hygrometer measures humidity, just like a thermometer measures temperature. The sling part comes in because... Have you done this? I think so. <laughs> Al Hunter's in uh, one of our... Anyways, he's done everything. So they have two thermometers on them. They come apart into these two pieces. Two instruments that are just the same. One's red, one's blue. Two thermometers. And the one thermometer is just a regular old thermometer. It's going to tell us the air temperature. The other one has this thing on it. Can anybody tell what this is? It's cloth and it is... Oh, cloth. What? It's cloth. It absorbs the moisture. Yes. 
evaporate. It's going to create some evaporation. The wind is going to dry it out. And how fast it dries out is going to tell us what the wind is. Right? So as they're spinning through the air, that wet sock is, the water is evaporating off of it. Let's go, Celine. It's nice and warm. It's warm? Yes. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, wow. Science. Okay. So kind of another, um, you know, oh, interesting thinking part. What about water wow. makes it take longer to change temperature? Heat. Yeah, it has a really high heat capacity. So it absorbs a lot of heat, um, but it also takes a lot of heat or energy change the temperature. So what happens is, especially you guys know from living here, um, basically in, in June, even though it could be really hot, yeah, you might want to go to the beach, the water is still freezing because all winter. But now in the late summer, early fall is when the warmer, the water is usually the warmest. Um, and how does that relate back to, think about like we were talking about the storms and stuff. We can talk about like hurricane season, what, how does that connect? like changes the pressure and you're right it usually starts in like August um, and then like goes through September and October especially so here um, Sandy hit you know it was like October we're hearing about all the ones now um, and it's all because that's when the water is so warm and it has all that heat so excellent all right so good stuff so we in water and so they're aquatic organisms and they can't swim against a current so that means they're drift that's where the word plankton comes from the word drift uh, so we're gonna collect them you can see most are microscopic that's actually usually what people say uh, but not exclusively however water. We're going to tow them back and forth for three minutes and then collect the sample in there. So Okay. 
types. Types of plankton? Um, phyto and zoo. Yeah, so the two major types Ooh. of plankton are phytoplankton, which are algae, or zooplankton, which are just the animals. So the phytoplankton are these little, really cool shapes that are usually greenish or brownish, just like regular algae. Um, and similar to plants, what do they, how do they get their energy? Nice, loud and proud. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. So these little critters, are their ancestors, actually, again, is what made our planet livable for us as animals, because by photosynthesizing, what do they produce? Better take this, I'm so fucking broke. So, um, these little, again, the phytoplankton, um, and there's two main types, they produce oxygen. And so these phytoplankton in the oceans actually produce over half and as much by some estimates as 85% of the oxygen in our atmosphere. So we all have them to thank for being able to live and breathe, because uh, without them, we could not. All things that is either living or once living or you're not sure, any of those things are fair game. So if I want to Time to feast. We're going in. Golden Corral, is this you? Any buffet ever, is this you? Oh, I found a uh, hermit crab, I think. Nope. Oh, it's a big woman. It's a crab. It's a little crabby. Oh, it's a crabby. Come here, buddy. This crab is shook. This crab is tiny. I'm gonna pick up in a little shell. I wish someone said that about me. This crab is tiny. Hi, buddy. You're scared, I know. Uh -oh. Let's go. Go <laughs> that Sewage, get ready. We're going to a sister sewage plant. We go love the village of sewage. I love smelling your shit. <laughs> if you walked into that pool, I would. Alejandro's gonna, gonna walk into it. Oh my god, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that's from last night at 9 30 p.m. <laughs> that's from this morning at 2 a.m. <laughs> 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 
that quick for maritime? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> High school is best. I don't know. Alejandro and I are skinny legends. We'll, we'll, we'll go as far as you want there. But that's what that stuff looks like when it comes out. And uh, like I said, it's just all the stuff that people, that, that gets into the wastewater. It's interesting too, this is an old community. So there's something called combined sewer system, right? What that means is that your storm drains for your, for the surface water when it rains are actually connected to the sewer system. It's not done that way in new communities, but in old communities, hey, one, one drain was as good as the next, right? The reason that's a problem is because you really don't want it. You don't want to combine your storm flow and your sanitary sewer into the same pipe. We have a uh, we have a, an active participation with Harbor Watch. This whole place has got the shellfishing industry, right? We don't want the sewer water going into the into the uh, into the Norwalk River mm -hmm. and into the Long Island Sound because it messes with the environment and messes with the shellfish industry. When you have the storm sewer connected to the sanitary sewer, there's always a potential for a crossover. And so Harbor Watch goes around and they measure the bacteria all over the, uh, the uh, Long Island Sound. And what they do is they identify us when there's a spike in bacteria. And oftentimes we can find that we've either got a sewer line that's leaking into a uh, old storm line or we've got some kind of conflicting flow with some kind of problem. And we're able to, we're able to nail that down so that we can keep the community safe. And it was, uh, the effluent went out to the uh, Native American Reservation there. I believe it was uh, Navajo Reservation, right? The requirements were so strict that they had to use this uh, membrane bioreactor and then for disinfectant, they didn't use chlorine. They used uh, UV. We're graded on that. We're graded, graded for bacteria count. And, uh, and BOD, we don't want any bio, uh, chemical oxygen demand left your water either. But, uh, First impressions. Okay, so it's like a Asia bar rack. Impressions. I'm not doing this. Uh-uh. Not the second. Second impression to the villa. I didn't walk in. <laughs> I walked in. It was survived that bad, one actually. second. I gagged. And then my burrito's I screeching. I don't really need to smell. Both of my stuff fall in here. My, yeah. my throat is okay. First impressions. Um, so far, it's not too bad. Yeah, but we I think it's gonna get there? worse from here. Yeah, he's still in there. Wait, there. there's more. <laughs> There's like no one more stages at the In there. How do you feel right now? Targeted. You want to do a hundred water fly in that water? You're right. Wow. After she takes a shower, like yeah, the water. After Inyo's after annual shower. <laughs> Imagine I drop this in yeah, here. How do you feel? Are you going in? No. Why not? I can't. Look at 
the perimeter of the bubble. <laughs> the bubbles are brown, like actual like bubbles. That's actual just shit. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I Impressions. Awesome. There's poop on my leggings and my shoes. Wait, wait. It's on my leggings. All my favorite foods combined. I'm never wearing these leggings again. Thank you. Nice job, nice job. Very nice. Someone picked on my leggings. I don't have to wear them. I don't have to wear them. I don't have to wear them. You literally shit. have actual shit on your leggings. <laughs> and it's not even yours. Oh, it's it's literally it's not even yours. And, oh my god. Hey guys. Literally put it in the camera at 7 p.m. Say bye to the vlog. Hey, hey, hey. My camera died. Bye. You don't like you out on the bus? Yeah. 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 So I've never I've never vlogged Video. before. My first time actually vlogging. Having a really great time today, right? What are you doing? It's not even looking at your face. <laughs> we love vlogging. Do we know where we're going? Colby, say hi. Oh, there's a truck. We love Norwalk. Good job. I respect all workers. It already smells like sewage. Oh my gosh, it already smells like shit. We're literally gonna die. Wait, Harbor Loop Trail. Everyone smile for the vlog! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves me. You can obviously tell. <laughs> Take back your vlog. Hey worker, I respect you. I respect all workers. <laughs> I told them that. What worker? The guy's in the truck. He's working. He's driving. <laughs> I respect everyone. <laughs> I'm just a loving person. <laughs> oh my god, I respect him so much. He's working me on even. You wish you could. Sister, you look amazing. Oh my god, he's letting us go on. He waved us on. We love a respectful worker. So You're a bit famous, Dr. <laughs> <laughs> Is Peck there too? Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>